Day 15 of picking across America, and we are sending a bunch of stuff home finally, and also a couple packages out from people that have bought stuff along the journey. You're more than welcome to DM me on Instagram. If you see anything you want, we will ship it out to you. There just might be a slight delay. So today we're going to Washington, D.C. Have you ever been, done? Or New York. Or New York. We're going to New York tomorrow or the next day. It's going to be awesome. You know, we don't get to go to the East Coast very often, so we're going to live it up. I've only been once to both of those places, and Don hasn't been, so we're going to have a good time. Then we're coming back here, should spend a couple more days with Kevin, and then we're going down to Florida, Don. What's in Florida? Alligators and Dave. Alligators and Dave and his family, so we're going to hang out with him, um, bug him when he's at work. We're going um, to Universal, Universal, Studios. Universal Studios in Orlando. Um, and we're going to have a good time then heading up to FlipCon. So there's a whole bunch of stuff left in this journey. Before we leave, uh, we're going to test to see if Kevin has OCD. We're going to move some stuff. Let's see if he notices, guys. <laughs> Let's see if he notices. <laughs> Just leaving Arby's. That's where we had lunch today on our way out to D.C. Second place I ever worked at, Arby's. I wasn't 18. I was like 17, 16, 17. So they wouldn't let me uh, cut the roast beef or anything like that. And to be honest, I'm 38 now. It would be a very, very bad business decision if I worked here, if they let me cut the meat. I would lose multiple fingers. Um, yeah, it's this is not the place for me, but the food I enjoyed um, overall, pretty good. fancy goodwill don is this you said cabela's it does kind of look like a cabela's <laughs> like cabela. this is the fanciest goodwill i've ever seen in my life wow i'm pretty sure it's gonna be pricey what do you think oh yeah oh yeah we're not getting much here folks we're gonna try though i have been finding these handheld yahtzee games since i started reselling 11 years ago this black one is 199 and the gold one is 199 these go for about $10 to $13 plus shipping. I might even lot them up together and just do the shipping at once. Not that bad. They had a big tub of plushes in here. I'm digging through these before Dawn gets the chance. And of course, it was only like five, six seconds before guess who shows up? Dawn at the plushie bin right here. She's basically telling me very forcefully to get out of the way. Do you see that? <laughs> She's finding stuff. She's the one that digs through this a lot more thoroughly than I did. But watch this. While she's digging on top, I'm digging below. I find this Mr. Bill plush. Pretty cool. It's a dog squeak toy. And guess what? Since I found this, guess what that means? It's absolutely worthless. Putting it back in the bin. Couldn't resist this University of North Carolina 3D embossed mug. Has a little stain on it, but I can get that out. It's only 99 cents. That's a great price. I couldn't pass it up. And check out these jogger pants right here. 1990 jazz style Dixie cup. These are intense. I mean, if I could rock them, I would. So Don is currently at this fancy Goodwill. And this is the sacrifice I'm making as a TikToker, Instagram Reel, Facebook Reels person. I came out to stand here and just shout at my phone and do YouTube, Instagram, TikTok shorts. It's gonna be fun. You know how much I hate these gray skies. program to activate the emergency alert system for the Washington, D.C. metropolitan operational area because of a local weather emergency. The National Weather Service in Sterling has issued a flash flood warning for southeastern D.C., southwestern Anne Arundel County, central... Just got into the hotel. It was a little wild getting in here to DC today. There was flood warnings 
all over Northern Virginia. We'd never been here before. I've only driven into Washington a long time ago when I was a kid. So we were worried about that a little bit, uh, but we met up with Tim, which was awesome. Tim, from over the years, if you guys aren't following him, he uh, has a lot of vintage knowledge, a lot of knowledge on glassware, all sorts of stuff. He does auctions. He does whatnot. He does a lot of great stuff. We had a great, great talk. I learned a lot about glass, a ton about glass. I learned about Galley, which I'd never heard of before, which was a famous glass-making family um, from a while ago, I guess from a while back. I learned about Wedgwood. Now, I knew about the blue, like the light blue and the blue and white pieces of Wedgwood, but what I didn't know was that they had tricolor Wedgwood pieces. So he showed us some pictures of like all these different variations where it was like pink and white sometimes there was like gold um, all sorts of different variations very fascinating a lot of money in glassware and ceramics um, if you're a picker it's something that kind of inspired me to want to do a little bit more research not only on glassware and ceramics but also just on stuff i'm interested in i love sports cards there's a thousand different niches within sports cards that i can get more into so it kind of inspired me. It's great in this community. There's so many great people who are willing to share their knowledge with you and also just inspire you to be a better reseller. Be curious. That's like one of my biggest, biggest goals. Now, Dave's going to give me um, crap for being motivational here. That's not – that's what I, what I was doing kind of there. So he's going to give me a lot of crap for that. But really, be curious when you're a picker. There's so much out there to learn, and that's kind of one of the most ex exciting – exciting parts of being a picker stay tuned tomorrow we're going to be going around washington dc seeing all the sites going to some thrift stores and we're going to head up to new york at some point new york city um, it's going to be an exciting day also